first at 11, the aftermath of yet another sewage main break in Fort Lauderdale. It is the fourth one in a matter of weeks. As you can imagine, the situation really stinks and then some. Tonight, the city is promising some solutions, but making no promises that this will not happen again. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live in Fort Lauderdale with our top story at 11. Amber. Well, good evening to you both. Yes, a very stinky situation, as you can imagine, for residents out here in Victoria Park. This is where the latest break happened around 7.30 this morning. Neighbors say they could barely leave their homes. They even had to spend the afternoon cleaning up some of the water themselves. Now the city says they're going to need millions to fix the problem. Four breaks in just three weeks, causing two major concerns in at least three Fort Lauderdale neighborhoods. And it's just poop water everywhere. There's already been so much construction around here. The water main breaks happening in Rio Vista, Beverly Heights, and the latest in Victoria Park. A bird's eye view shows murky waters flooding streets. The most recent break, crews working from 7.30 Friday morning until late in the night to fix a 16-inch pipe that spewed sewage on Northeast 5th Street near 16th Avenue. Barry Wiggins saw trouble creeping up to her front door. Came out with the dogs and could barely walk them because the water or whatever you want to call it, was all the way up to here, the sewage. And Tiffany Howard said it kept her family indoors most of the day. Smell is really bad. Like we, you know, it's a beautiful day. We couldn't have the windows open or the doors open. Crews spent the afternoon vacuuming up what's left behind, cleaning up sidewalks and driveways while the health department passed out flyers to people who live here. That spill, though large, was contained shortly after and the repair began quickly. Unlike the previous three spills earlier this month, the largest was the 52-inch pipe that broke in two spots in High Dollar Rio Vista. Days later, a 48-inch main broke underwater in the Himmershi Canal. City Manager Chris Lagerbloom says these breaks are common with old age. They can handle these short-term breaks, but they'll need a long-term solution so this doesn't keep happening. We have a system that, that we need to uh, invest some money into, that we need to uh, make some repairs on. I can tell you that the break that happened in Rio Vista, uh, we've got a, a contract for a design build project to replace that pipe uh, that will happen much quicker than any sewer pipe that we've repaired in, in Fort Lauderdale in some time. And the city manager you just heard from says $200 million is being used to fix the old sewage system, but they're hoping to get more millions in the next few years. In Fort Lauderdale, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News Tonight.